What if the sun was a blue star? In billions of years, the sun will begin to die. But what if we stepped it up? Let us replace our yellow star with a blue one. What difference would it make? Could your body withstand the increase in temperature? Or would every living thing on the planet die horribly? The possibilities are endless. Today, we'll talk about the effects of having an incredible one-of-a-kind blue star, which will undoubtedly blow your mind. Please subscribe as we unveil these discoveries. Like any other visible light, sunlight contains the rainbow's colors. However, the brightness of a star or planet is decided mainly by its temperature. The coolest stars in the universe have temperatures around 3,200 degrees Fahrenheit and emit more red light. The hottest stars have temperatures of over 72,000 degrees Fahrenheit and appear bluer. Our sun's surface temperature is 10,800 degrees Fahrenheit. As a result, almost equal amounts of blue and red wavelengths are emitted. If you were in space and could see the sun, it would appear white. Wait a second. Sun, isn't it yellow? No, you were correct if you assumed it wasn't. Because of the amount of nitrogen in the atmosphere of Earth, you can only view the sun as yellow. Because their wavelengths are longer, your eyes can see red and yellow light better. The sky is blue because blue light has a shorter wavelength and spreads out more. But if our sun were a blue star, there would be no more gorgeous orange sunsets. You'd also be cooked immediately once you stepped out of your home. Let's look at some blue stars we already know about before we dye our sun blue. Rigel is the shining star of the constellation Orion. It is located at the cooler end of the blue star spectrum. Its surface temperature is approximately 20,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Even though Rigel is almost twice as hot as our sun, it gives off at least 40,000 times more energy. And Rigel is 79 times larger in size than our star. If our sun were that large, Mercury could fit within and the sun's temperature would skyrocket. What's the point though? Eta Carinae could be a blue star on the higher end of the spectrum, similar to the sun. This star is more than six times as hot as the sun. Its surface temperature is 72,000 degrees Fahrenheit. What is striking though, is that Eta Carinae emits one million times more radiation than our sun. Our sun would be five million times brighter if it was so hot. Plasma would frequently erupt violently and destroy our world and the sun would bombard us with UV radiation, killing us. Living in that heat is impossible. Going outside for a second would be like walking into a hot oven. It's like living in a hell. The blue sun would instantly burn away all of your body's tissues and possibly even your bones. You would be eliminated from the game. But I'm only kidding. I wouldn't give you such an easy way out. Assume your body was highly resistant to the severe heat. You'd still have to deal with that massive amounts of UV radiation. It would wreck your body, causing your skin to wrinkle, age, and finally get cancer. I mean, what could go wrong more? Your eyesight would get a lot worse. You'd acquire a sunburn-like rash in your eyes. The UV light would sting your eyes and make it difficult to see. It would be similar to snow blindness, but caused by solar light. In addition to impairing your vision, blue light interferes with your beauty sleep. If you didn't know, blue light lowers the melatonin in your body. Sleeping would be difficult with so much more blue light and so little of this hormone. Sleep deprivation can lead to excessive blood pressure, diabetes, or even heart failure. Blue light would affect far more than only people. Outdoor plants would shrink, thicken, and develop darker leaves. Long day plants, which usually need at least 12 hours of sunlight a day to grow well, would flower more when exposed to high intensity blue light. All other plants that do not prefer as much sunshine would die. Long-day garden vegetables like lettuce, spinach, and potatoes would still be available. But if our sun grew to the size of Eta Carinae, you'd have larger concerns than what to eat on your new diet. The solar system would be disrupted by the sun's unique, powerful gravitational pull. It would swallow Earth and the other planets. You'd be lucky if the Earth twisted a little and rocketed into space instead of getting eaten up by the massive sun. Then we'd live on a runaway planet that isn't held together by a star's gravity and is free to travel the universe. We'd freeze to death quite shortly. If there is one advantage, it is that all this chaos and damage will not remain forever. Instead, it will be over immediately. Eta Carinae is a star who enjoys living fast and dying young. Even though it's only been around 3 million years, it is nearly out of fuel. It could explode as a supernova during the next 100,000 years. Scientists believe the sun will continue to burn for another 7 billion years, making it approximately 4.5 billion years old. If we increase the sun's temperature, we will be causing our star and planet to die prematurely. 
few living forms would survive to see that day. Life on Earth began approximately 3.7 billion years ago. At the time, our star was already 800 million years old. If the sun had been as hot and luminous as Eta Carinae, it would have erupted as a supernova hundreds of millions of years before there was life on Earth. So our lives will be better as long as the sun burns at its current temperature. That concludes this video, fellas. Did you like watching this video? Please subscribe to our channel to watch unique and inspiring videos. Thank you for tuning in.